What's up guys, this is me, Hunter Alfred Tom Vents, and I am finished with my customized tank. So let me show you. Uh, here is my customized tank, and this is for Sparkus. Look at him. He's in a new tank. Got some Cypress mulch in there, got his high dome in there, got his branch in there, got his little large sub in there from the Sokan Times. Yeah, this is for my Brazilian smooth sink. Look at this. So what we got here is the vent. There's the vent right here. Here's a, a sliding door that I got installed from the, ga from the glass place. So yeah, they, they actually did a good job of installing the glass door and stuff. Got a two inch frame right here. It's holding up another, another substrate for him. Please burl in. So yeah. And that little wire out there is a probe to check the temperature and stuff. Uh, temperature is at least 75 degrees. This tank, that's how, that's how hot it is. Stuff. Uh, the vent is also trying to regular, try, the vent does actually get, like, you know, regular, regular room temperature in here too. Stuff. Um, so yeah, look at this. This is a really awesome tank that I did myself, even though I did have some help with me. So here's the keys that go with it. And that's the keys for this uh, lock right here. It's good to have a lock for this kind of cage because so that way it'll be secured. So this is a really awesome cage I built myself. Look at this. this is a very awesome cage. Look, look at the stain. It's got casters on it so I can roll it. And yes, I can build more tanks just like this, except uh, some, of our, some of the other tanks may not have casters like this one. So here you are. That's my, that's my custom tank. It's all finished. It's all looking good. What we got here is an LED light right there. Sorry, uh, that makes the, makes the uh, camera go flashy. And also in the tank, there's a heat, there's some heat tape in here to regulate his temperature. It's good to know. So yeah, and it's going pretty well for him. He's getting, he's getting used to it, which is good to know. I'm glad that he's getting used to it. And yeah, this is all. This is all designed by me. See, I never used other plans. I designed this tank myself. Look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. How I actually got this all built. It's a really awesome closure I built myself. Came out pretty well. And Spark is just getting really used to it. He's actually like can't. He's actually, he's actually liking it and stuff. He's, he, yeah, he's kind of, he is pretty much liking it. So yeah, it's about four feet long. It's a four, it's a four foot long tank and stuff. So yeah, it's a really nice tank. I like, I like it too. Really awesome closure I built myself. I think I like building closures better than just you know. Uh, it's just buying them because buying them is a bit of a chore. So I am going to sell the enclosure that he was in before. So I am going to sell it I, to someone else. It, it depends on who will buy it and stuff. I do need to clean it out so I can make sure it's make sure it's all clean and everything. So I just want to show you what this what this thing what this case is like and stuff. So yeah. There he is, and there's Sparkus, my Brazilian smooth thing I probably enjoy. Look at him, just relax, just chilling in his tank. His tank is stuff. So, yeah. And he's so relaxed. Yeah, he he, got, he does like his new, does like his new tank, and it won't be in this spot for long because this tank will be be in be in the other area, in the area wall area. So it won't be in this spot for long. I just put it for here right now because I like moving it. But once I move some furniture, when I time move some furniture, I will actually, you know, move this tank to the other side. So yeah, right, let's get to the new. Let's get to a new snake indeed. Yes, a very nice snake. 
And here's one of my new sinks. This is a ball python. Yeah, this is Priest. And you see him in the area before. I just introduced you to him. It's a really awesome snake indeed. Yeah, he's the replacement for a blood python for the shows and stuff. But I am keeping him because he's a really cool snake and a cool snake to use for the hold. And I do recommend these as pets. These are definitely really cool snakes to keep as pets. They're definitely really awesome snakes to keep as pets. They're really friendly and really nice snakes indeed. Yeah. So yeah, I do recommend these snakes as pets. I did, I did feed them recently and these snakes are really not that hard to keep as uh, pets. I will do a care video for him soon. But I just want to introduce you to what he's like. He's a really cool snake. Indeed, he's a very Ball Python Cam. He's a bit head shy. <laughs> and that's it. That's it, guys. I'll anyway, you guys on 100 Hour for Top Events, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.